Hey everybody, welcome to the Healthy SBC Podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy Sutton. I'm here at Southern Trace again, and I'm here with Hillary Ball. She is the fitness director here, and we're going to talk about her role here at Southern Trace, how she got into it, and all those amazing things. So, uh, Hillary, thanks for being on the podcast. Well, thanks for calling and inviting me. Yeah, I'm I love excited. it. I love it. I'm excited too. So, let's just get into it, uh, kind of introduce who you are and what you do here. Okay, I am Hillary Ball. I'm in charge of fitness at Southern Trace. I've been here for a whopping 17 years. Woo. I started as a part-time personal trainer and then I did that during college and then I switched positions to fitness director in 2012 after I graduated college. The members purchased the club in 2020 and that really is kind of when this place uh, really came alive. Um, I think with a lot of just where the state of the world was at that time and having the members purchase the club and just make it their own and um, as employees we felt more ownership and um, we've really been able to create something special. That's awesome. Since I love then. that. So, yeah. yeah. It's, doesn't it really change the, the feel of things when it's like, okay, we had somebody, I don't know any of the history of Southern yeah. Trace, but we had somebody here and now like we all kind of own it yes. and you take more ownership? It's like a collective, yeah, yeah, it's it's how it should be, I think. Yeah. It's, it's more, more community-based um, and the level of excellence, of course, was like, that's the driving to, right. like, we want this, yes, to be... A community we, we we also want it to be excellent and so we had that sense of excellence return back to Southern Trace which was so um, so refreshing and like and so exciting to be part of that too yeah, yeah. That. yeah I remember yeah. when I talked to Cameron uh, golf pro here I mean it's been a few several months and he was saying the same similar things like you know it's just this we want this excellence and we want people to feel comfortable and welcome and we right. want to grow all these amazing things uh, so I love that. I mean, we need more of that in the world. We do. Yeah. Most, most definitely. Yeah. yeah so you started here part time. Yes. Did you know you wanted to be here for the long haul and, and do all those things? Uh, grand scheme? No, I didn't. And to be honest, like, um, I kind of tried to escape for a little bit. <laughs> I did. I, I moved to Dallas for six months and I worked over there. Um, I had a good time, but it was time to come home. And, um, and this is why it's when the when the members purchased the club that's when i really dug my heels in and um and started to fulfill the vision that i had for southern trace amazing so yeah so god god brought me back oh, yeah, he yeah. really did and and he saved my position for me like I, I called my the gm at the time and i was like hey i'm coming back to Shreveport. And he, he didn't skip a beat. He was like, oh, you want your job back? And I'm like, yes, yes, I do. I That's really awesome. do. And, um, and so it's been, it's been such a blessing just to be a part of the community yeah. and to, to watch it grow too. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So I grew up in, in Arcadia, which is like a little bitty town over towards Ruston. And I always, as a physical therapist, I wanted to come back and work in my hometown or where I knew people. Mm -hmm. And so it, it never really worked out where I could work there. But what I did find is I worked with people that knew me growing up and then it was hard because they see you as that kid or, or right, whatever. Right. But I've, I've lived in, I lived in Bossier for 14 years. Now we live in Benton. And so now I'm getting to like with my business work in the community that I've lived in for 14, 15 years. Right. And that is so fulfilling yes. to be able to see people that you know you've done business with, you've gone to their businesses, now they're right. helping you, you know you build yours. Right. And uh, so there's just something special about that community yeah. and being home. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so exactly. tell us a little bit about what you do here. Okay, well I teach the, so when the members purchased the club, we really didn't have a group fitness department. And so that's one thing, hey, every, like, pretty much every good gym, good fitness center has group fitness and it's included in your membership. That's one thing that I want Southern Trace to have. And so I started out small. I started with a class or two. I think Greg Barrett was my first person to ever come to class and it was yoga we started off with yoga and then we we added pilates and then we added weightlifting and then so all of these classes we 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 just kind of built on and people would come and 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 all of that and so we now have quite a few classes and i'm not the only trainer either that's so that's, that's cool too we were we were able to have three people 
um, come and teach classes too. And so we've built that. That's kind of my baby. The group fitness is kind of my baby. Personal training, I do that. I do nutrition coaching. Um, I do, yeah. So you just, just kind of do kind a little of, bit I, of everything. A little bit of everything. Oh, and then I do the admin. So, you know, writing the newsletter for membership and, and right. stuff like that. But Love it. do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How, how was that, so transitioning from no group programs to now what you have, how, what has that process been like? Um, the process has just been one step at a time. Yeah. Like I pray about it and, and okay, and then we just do the next thing, right. you know, like it's the next step. Um, I did have like a vision of having like other trainers and, but I couldn't rush it. Right. I couldn't rush that. And I have a tendency to rush. Oh, yeah, me so, too. <laughs> like most definitely. Yeah. So, but but the Lord's been gracious to me in in um, slowing me down and not letting me go like too quick. And so it's just it's been it's been beautiful to be a part of that to to see where it started and then to see where it is now and and to see where it's going to go. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. Too. So I want to ask you this question because as I'm thinking about. As I, I, my business is pretty young, only six months, and so I have a vision for where I want it to go. Okay. How has your, how was your vision early on? Is it the same as what it looks like now? Um, that's a good question. Um, no, it's not the exact same. Not the exact same, but it's really, I mean, it's it's in line with yeah. with what I wanted. So and you're happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'm that. happy with it because that's that's the way it's going, and it's it's good. Yeah. You know. It's not, it's not exactly the same. So don't get frustrated if it's not the exact plan. Yeah. Just know that you're on the right plan. The right plan, yeah. And Sometimes the road does this. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it is definitely not a straight line. Because I was telling you earlier, we had a fire. And, right. oh, my gosh, that just threw everything, um, everything out of whack and chaotic. But in the end, it was a... It ended up being a blessing for the club. Yeah. It really did. So it was not. I wouldn't ever want to go through that again. No, no fires are no fun for sure. No, no, we don't. We don't like fires. No fire. So, do you feel like? I feel like you are a servant leader. Yes. And what? What do you? What do you enjoy about that? Um. So my prayer, my prayer, um, every day is um, to see and love people. The way Jesus does. Mm -hmm. That is my, um, because he, he loves them completely. Mm -hmm. Um, and he helps them completely if they will allow. So like, even the person, if they are having a bad day and they come in and I can, I can feel it and I can sense it. It's not about me, right. you know, it's about, okay, what are they going through and how can I possibly help them? over this over this obstacle that they may be facing and that's yeah that's that's everything and you know he came and he washed feet yeah like i haven't washed any feet yet so i i, I still have some growing to do in that department yeah. but um but the serving part is everything so funny story i have washed feet okay when i was in college at tech we used to do lymphedema wraps so we would wrap people's legs because they were swollen okay and they would come back every day and we would take the wraps off and wash their feet i wasn't doing it because i wanted to i was doing it because i had to because i was working there right. but it, it is a very humbling experience to wash somebody's feet yeah um i wouldn't say i always enjoyed it right but it is very humbling and it so is. it does show you that picture of jesus that hey this is about the lowest thing you can do for somebody is wash right, their feet. Right. And he was willing to do that. So right. pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, I need to go wash some feet now. I don't know if I you want to. Well, in Ecuador, <laughs> in Ecuador, I had never done, I'd never done, um, I'd never done any carpentry work. Yeah. Right. Really. I mean, I did a little something yeah. here, but nothing major, right? No major projects. Mm -hmm. And so our mission in Ecuador was to build a gate, Cumbre Alta, um, which is a soccer mission. Yeah. They had recently just purchased their first piece of their own property. Oh wow! And um, celebration, we, you know, we celebration church sent a crew and we went to build their gate. And the men were in charge of the iron, right? The the engineering behind it all, the iron, the welding, and all of that. And then the women, we were in charge. There was only three of us. We were in charge of the wooden boards that would go up on um, on the gate, and and so we 
we sanded the boards, we treated the boards, like waterproofed yeah. them, we stained the boards, like, so we were with these boards for like a solid week. <laughs> we had a personal Was it relationship. Boring? Oh my gosh, okay, so that leads me to the next thing. Um, so it was extremely, it was almost painfully boring. <laughs> and at one point I'm treating the wood and the ladies are sanding. And so we've got those sanders in the background. We can't even talk really. And so I'm like treating the wood and I'm like, now God, <laughs> <laughs> I know you have me here for some kind of reason. Right. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> because this is really boring. <laughs> and then this thought came to my head, like, uh, Jesus could have come as any occupation. Right. He could have come as anything, mm -hmm. but he chose to come as a carpenter, right? Mm -hmm. Joseph was a carpenter, yeah, right, and right. and so he. I mean, that wasn't by accident because sure. God he did, he is very intentional, like yeah. right? And so, um, and so I'm like, okay, well, in order to do this, you've got to be really patient, right? And so. God was just kind of showing me the nature of himself as I'm doing this project. And, um, and then, and then furthermore, like you have to complete the task. Right. You can't stop because you're bored. You have all these people <laughs> counting on you. Like I, I can just be like, Oh, I'm, I want to do something else. Yeah. Like, because it's not about me. It's about right. finishing the project and it's a team effort that we're working on it together. And so, you know, the next thing was, um, the, the next day, you know, I was staining the wood and I noticed something that some boards were really easy to stain. They were flip. Oh yeah, I'm done. Nice. Other boards had knots and, and grooves and like all, and oh my gosh. Now you're preaching. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They were, they were such a pain to stain. Like I had to like, I mean, there was this technique I had to develop to stain this piece of wood, right? But right. I wanted it to look beautiful, so I wasn't going to give up on the, on yeah. the process. process, right? Oh, I love that word. And so, um, but one thing that I noticed, those were the prettier pieces. The, the ones with the knots and the, the grooves and the, oh, the ones that made you want to cuss. They really yeah. did. They did. They were more beautiful. And so it's like, you know, just God just showed me his nature and showed me that we are his handiwork. We're the wood in his hands. And he doesn't ever grow tired of working with us. And he does the same thing over and over, sometimes the same lesson, yeah. ad nauseum. And, and if we let him get down to the, the grooves and the rough edges and the places that we don't really want anyone to be, including God, right. if we let him get into those places, we're more beautiful because that's where he has been. And so it, it, was a, it was a great trip, but it wasn't what I expected by any means. Yeah. I wasn't expecting him to show me right. that. While you're standing for it. Right. While, while I was doing it you know, menial, menial task. task. Yeah. Right. I love that. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, that's so funny. So carpentry is the thing that makes me want to scream the most, uh -huh. like really yeah. any kind of work like that, because uh -huh. it's just, my dad could do it all. I can't do much of it. Me too. But I'm just like, <laughs> I hate this. Yeah. And then my kids are like, get out of here. I, you can't <laughs> be around me right now because right. I'm going to hurt something. And right. so I'm just like, it's yeah, good this piece of wood. It's good. But, <laughs> but you know, you said something about finishing, like you had to finish because there was nobody else. And right. I remember we, we bought our first house. My wife and I got married. Uh, we bought this house and we were going to make it our own, which is mm -hmm. the worst thing I could ever do in my life is try to buy a house and then make it my own. Wait, and, and were y'all newly married? Oh, we were, yeah, 10 months. Oh, okay. Oh, horrible, oh, horrible, okay. horrible, horrible idea. But I remember doing, I was putting cord around around the house or something and painting and I hate painting and I said, oh, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to wait until my dad does this. And I was like, oh gosh, I'm the dad. <laughs> like, I have to get this done. I'm this is my dad. house. This is me. This is my it's house. Me. I have to do it. And yeah. it's, I mean, it's, it's the same thing with business and serving and, and Christianity is like, God puts us all on this earth for a purpose that's right. ours. Right. I can't take my purpose and say, okay, I'm going to give that to Hillary and let her do it because right. I don't want to do that. Right. That's, that's my purpose. I can right. decide if I want to be obedient or not, right. but I can't take that purpose. I can't get, right. get rid of that. Um, and so sometimes you just have to say, okay, I'm going to have to try to figure out how to stain this because I have to get this done. Right. Um, so I love that. It's, it's so important to, um, to realize it. And you said this too, is that wasn't about you. 
No. Those boards with that mission trip, none of that was about you. None of it was that was about true. serving the Creator. That was about serving God, doing what Jesus calls us to do as Christians. Right. And, but we want to make all this stuff about us. We want to oh, make we, we want to make personal training. We want to make business. We want to make Southern Trace. We want to make everything about us, and it's not. Right. It's about it's who can not. we serve. How can we love people? Right. Yeah. If if fitness is about me, then ooh, right. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, you yeah. know, then I don't love my people. That's right. Yeah. I mean, how many times, and I think about this too, so I, I spoke uh, Friday at a, at a conference for Learning Rx here in town, and we were talking about, like, how can people get healthy, right? Yeah. And so I said, look, I am on my own wellness journey. Mm -hmm. You are on your own. We're not all, we don't all look alike. Right. Okay? We can't all be chiseled out of stone, whatever. Right. But I can still care about being healthy, mm -hmm. even if I'm not in the best shape right now. Right. And so I said, you know. We still want to promote healthy uh, mental health. We want to promote, oh, yeah. you know, good eating. We want to mm -hmm. stop. We want to. Diabetes is completely. Lim we can just eradicate yeah. diabetes. Oh yeah. If we just stop eating Snickers. Right. And things like right. that, you know. So right. we, But we need and to work. High fructose corn. Yeah, high fructose corn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and so all this stuff that they've engineered now that's right. not sugar, but it's still sugar. But it's still sugar. Yeah. It's it's worse than sugar. It's, worse than sugar. <laughs> it's way worse. But. It's important for us to all do our part and to serve right. other people. Because if right. it's just about me, well, I can go in there and be like, yeah, I know I lost 40 pounds last year, then I gained 20 back, and then I did right. this, and then today I didn't want to do that, you know? Right. And, and we make it about ourselves, and then we just kind of go in a hole, right. and we don't serve anybody. Right. But right. we can go out confidently and, and do then it can, things. And then it can actually turn into an idol. Oh, absolutely. Which, which God, right. I mean, God can't bless that, yeah. you know? So, so. you gotta, you got to be looking out for other people. Right, so. right. But, too... You you are an example for the church, mm. and so your your body is a temple. That's right. Yeah, so you looking out in how you are taking care of yourself yes. is also part of the bigger picture like, too. That's good. That's deep so time. yeah, because if we are we are the example, we are. So. Don't tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Holy Spirit will come in here and just like connection. Yeah, yeah connection. So. So you're here 17 years. Yes. You're taking care of people. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite aspect of this job? The relationships. Okay. It, I, that has always been my favorite um, part of building relationships is, I think, what I was created. Mm -hmm. Like, one of my strengths. Mm -hmm. um, I just love building relationships and connecting with people. I would and, believe that. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, at church, I mean, sure. at, at work, you know, at home, it's... That's me. Yeah, I, I believe that. I told my wife. I said I talked to Hillary. Well, I talked to Hillary. I, I said her name wrong. I murdered it. But she was, <laughs> but she was gracious about it. I said, but she was really nice. I said, I think we're gonna have a really good episode. She's like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But I, I do the same thing. I like to connect with people. Yeah. Now, I'm a little um, reserved when I'm around people that I don't know as well. Yeah. But once I get to know people, then then you like kind of want to just flood, open the floodgates. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. horrible. Uh, it's not horrible. That's how God made me. But it's just like my wife's like, uh. -uh. I can't. I'm, she's such an introvert. Tap me you know, out. She's like, yeah. I'm here. But I love that. Relationships are, are so huge. Yeah. Um, you know, we can, one, we can't do anything in our community without relationships no. with other people. And you realize how hard it is to do life on your own? Oh, so miserable. COVID. Like, what did COVID, like, that's one thing COVID taught us. Yeah. Out of, out of the like, billions. Oh, I don't, yeah. don't want to do life alone. Like, uh -huh. it's not fun. It's not fun. And, and it's, there's something so beautiful about, like, getting working as a team with people because other people's strengths that could be where I'm weak yeah and I mean so we come together and it's like oh yes like I can be strong in my strengths and you can be strong in my weaknesses and like there's just this synergy and um it's just solid like yeah. solid team yeah, absolutely. I agree. I understand. You know, yeah. my wife and I talk about this all the time. If I'm down, she's not. If she's down, I'm not. And it just works amazing that yeah. we we were created that way to complement each other. Right. Um, and oh, and the fact that that she's an introvert, you're yeah. not. Oh, I mean that that in of itself, like yeah. you know, if there's two of you, then one of you is not necessary. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I heard that. Uh, oh, I forget who said that, but yeah, he he said, well. One of you, if y'all are the same, same. then one of y'all's not necessary. So there's there's this this complement like balancing each yeah. other out. That um, that's so great. Yeah, I mean, you know, egos get in the way of a lot of relationships and community, but we really can't make Shreveport Mosier the best it can be if we're not working together. Right. And we're not willing to work together because right. 
I don't want to do certain things. I'm not right. good at certain things. And I, I don't want to do them. Right. So, but there's other people that love those tasks. Right. Like yes. I have a friend that loves numbers. Okay. I mean, not me. I'm good at math, but I don't want to sit there and look at numbers all day. You know, I want to talk to people. Right. Me too. That's what I want to do. Me too. I, I just want to have this camera and just run around and talk to people all day. Right. I want to be happy. Right. I just haven't figured out a, yet a way to make a living at that. Well, 100%. it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. All right. You're still, you're, still, you're still practicing. I'm still practicing. Yeah. So, but anyway, I mean, not everybody's like that. And so right. we need all parts. It's just like the church. You know, we it, need the hand. We need the eyes. We need the feet. We need it all is. the body of Christ. It is. And like if, you know, it's kind of like um, a fish thinking, oh, well, I'm not worth anything because I can't fly. Well, no, you're a fish. Yeah. You're not supposed to fly. That's you're supposed right. to swim in the water. Yeah. And like a, a, a bird, like, you know, like it's supposed to be flying. Okay. So it's like we all have our part. And if we just if we just embrace that and surround ourselves with other parts of the body, then we're, we're golden. Yeah. Good. I haven't asked anybody this yet on the podcast. Okay. Um, so be scared. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. How does your faith come out in your work? Oh, it does. Yeah. I can't help it. Um, um, because so much of what um, fitness is, is spiritual. Oh, gosh. So much. I mean, I know that from my own mm. experience. Like, I used to struggle with my weight. I used to struggle with, like, binge eating and, and all of that. And it was spiritual. Mm. I was trying to I was trying to seek out comfort in the wrong place. Like, I was seeking out comfort where only God can fill that, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so much of that is is what I do. And I can't, I can't just, I can't just train people and give them nutrition advice <laughs> and say, okay, there you go, now you know everything and you're right. going to be golden. No, because it's so much deeper than that. It, there's so much, there's so much more. Right. Um, that's kind of like... I don't even know what the, a good analogy for that would be, but but it would be giving them it would be giving them a band aid when they need stitches, and it's like no, there's right. more here. Yeah, there's more here, and I'll, I want to I want to take my people deeper and to fix the root sure. cause. Yeah, we can't just cover which things is, up. Which yeah, which does not by any means happen you know, after a session or two, right. you know, it takes while, a while to get to know people and to hear what they're saying and how they're saying it and, and pray about it. Like I pray over my people and like to see what it is that, that they're struggling with and what is that root yeah. and with the power of the Holy Spirit, we can yeah. uproot it. And so with, with this, with talking about praying over people, cause I, I do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But not everybody's a Christian, right? And I've I've only I've never had too many people say no. Mm -hmm. um, how has that has that ever been an, an issue with you? Say, so, hey, I'd love you know, this is my faith. I'd love to pray for you. How how has that worked out? Um, typically, no, yeah. it doesn't happen because I know the people very well. Yeah, sure. And so, um, if I ask if they want to pray, they normally are. Um, it's time. Yeah. Um, gotcha. It's time. And because uh, <laughs> you better believe that, like, as I'm talking, as we're working out, because we're working out, right? This is happening, you know, I'm praying, like, in, in my mind, okay, Holy Spirit, yeah. like, is this, what do you want to do? Right. Is this time? Yeah. And then I'll ask, and then nine times out of ten, it's, love it. it's time. I love it. Because I, I ask that because I've had people ask me the same thing, like, has it been an issue? And I'm like, no, mm -hmm. never. Because I don't pray with everybody. No. And it's always... I'm, you know, spirit induced, or right, right. Um, you know, and so I'm like, and now I did ask somebody last week who beat on my door at seven thirty at night and asked me for a ride, which was crazy because I live out in the middle of nowhere in Benton. Oh gosh! I was like, who are you? But he thought his cousin lived there. We okay. Anyway, okay. So I took him for I took him back to his car and I was like, can I pray for you about anything? He's like, no, I'm good. He's like, what you a preacher or something? I was like, well, maybe. And so, <laughs> but anyway, we part of the and, church. Yeah, part of the church. But anyway, we, it's, it was funny because it was the first time in years somebody had said, "No, I'm good." Yeah. Um, but uh, and that 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 did happen to me one time up here. I, I like it was an employee. Yeah. And I I could tell he was distraught, sure. and so I ran and I was like, "Do you want me to pray with you?" He's like, "No, I'm, I'm good." Yeah. It's, yeah. it's still does so, something for that person. Yeah. And it, but, I mean, he was appreciative. He yeah, said, absolutely. thank you, thank you, though. Yeah, same, same like, way with okay. this guy. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, no worries. I'd still, rather ask yeah. and then be told no than, than not ask, and that's what they really <laughs> wanted me to Absolutely. Do. Yeah. 
I love that. I'm not saying I didn't pray for that person. Oh, I know you did. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> what do you think is important for people to know about uh, taking care of themselves? Taking care of themselves. Um, sleep is so important. Mm. Like making sure that you are off the screens, you know, at least an hour before bedtime, if not more. Right. Um, um, and then truly like resting, like taking time out of your busy schedule to truly rest. And that doesn't mean like, like Netflix in it up until you're <laughs> like, can't see straight. <laughs> that means like, like going outside, like we kind of mm -hmm. touched on, like take your shoes off, take your socks off, go outside. Just, just be present in the moment that you're in, you know, um, that's so big and then of course like staying active moving it's what you eat but it's also what you put in your mind it's what you're feeding your entire yeah. body soul mind and spirit it's all it all works together yeah yeah it's so much of it's it's all of us like you know there's never we can't just eat this or do this workout you have no. to we have to make sure we're eating right we're working out we're filling our mind with things that are good filling yeah. our heart with things that are good and I, I love that you bring the attention to that because i think so many times we see you know there's so many gurus out there that say do this do that do this and it's none of that, yeah, it's none of it, that. it has to be a combination of a it's, lot of little things right right it is it's a lot yeah. of little things and it's it's it is all what you're feeding yourself. Yeah. It's just what are you feeding your mind? What That's are you right. feeding your body? What are you what are you doing with your body? Like yeah. it's yeah. And rest is not a waste of time. It's no. it's needed. We have to rest. We have yeah. to rest. Yeah. And we have to truly rest. Um my daughter and I, we oh it's it's hard for us to rest sometimes because mm -hmm. there are a lot of things like we've got soccer, yeah, we've got doing? We've got women's conference at yes. church. We've got all these things that are good things, but we have to have the rest too, mm -hmm. because I mean, I was guilty of this, like the past, not this weekend, but the two weekends before, I mean, our weekend was looked solid, yeah. right? Yeah. Look solid, like with good things. But those two Mondays following, I mean, I felt like the Mondayest Monday. I so I felt like that I today said, and it's Tuesday. <laughs> I know. So I said on on um, this past Sunday, I said we had women's conference. It was great at church. Um, Aurora had a soccer game that morning, that Saturday morning, and Sunday came, and I was like, you know what? We technically had another soccer game that afternoon, and I was just like, nope, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna stay home. We're gonna take a nap. We're going to rest, and then maybe we'll go for a boat ride. Yeah. And um, and so that's what we did. And I woke up Monday morning and ready to go. Yeah. And it was like, okay, it's so important. It's so important because if you want to do, like, if you want to be your best, you can't do all the things. Oh gosh, no. You can't do all the things, and it's frustrating because you want to do all the yeah. things, but you can't. Yeah, I want to do everything. Yeah, me too. On the way over here, I texted a friend of mine. I said, hey, we should start a morning PT show with me, you, and another friend. <laughs> except for, like, nobody would be able to understand us because we're all rednecks. And one's a Filipino redneck, so we really oh. don't understand him. So, I mean, he's and I was like, funny. no, we, we can't do this. We can't do this. I don't have time. Because my wife is like, all the time, she's like, Jeremy, please. Calm down. Calm down. And she's, she's really, she's huge about saying, hey, I know that's a good idea, but is that a God idea? Oh, that's like, totally it. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> but it's what right. I need to hear. But it is what you need yeah. to hear. Well, yeah. We can't do all the things. No, we I can't do to. all the things. But I want you to. Yeah, absolutely. I know. So, but, <laughs> but, but, but if it's not a God thing, then we're doing it out of disobedience. Uh, 100%. And then we can't enter his rest because that's what right. the scriptures say. That's exactly it's like, right. you can't, and they, the Israelites couldn't enter yeah. into his rest because of their disobedience. So that means that our obedience is rest. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I love it. Uh, last thing okay if you could talk about anything you want for just the last minute or so what what's on your mind oh my gosh what's on my mind um i don't know I something don't know. important to you what is it uh, you couldn't you couldn't get <laughs> i like stomach people it doesn't happen very oh much. <laughs> my god if I could say anything well I mean the only thing coming to my mind now is um, uh, I'm Aurora and I are gonna be moving to Ecuador oh wow yeah 
And so I'm, I will be stepping down from my position. What? Here. When's that happening? It looks like around December. Uh -huh. So I don't have all the puzzle pieces yeah. yet. They're still being put into place, yeah. but I have very much felt like um, it's start. It's time to start telling people. Well, you're gonna tell so, them today because I'm publishing this today. Oh, is it today? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll edit this out. Okay. <laughs> you don't have. I mean, awesome. it, it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel led to do. Okay. Awesome. I trust you. Okay. But um, but yeah, that's that's what's next for us. Amazing. So, I love that. Yeah. Same place as you went for the mission trip. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Love it. So yeah. When God moves, He moves. He moves, and I oh, He has taught me that like when He speaks, you you listen. Yeah. Because what used to be a blessing will no longer be a blessing um, if you're if it's in disobedience. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well. We tell our kids all the time, delayed obedience is disobedience. Yeah, yeah, and I kind of, and I don't know why. I don't know why it has to happen now, but it's it has to happen now. It's this time. It's this time. Yeah, I love it. Hillary, so. thank you so much for being on the podcast. Oh my gosh, so much fun. Yeah. Come, come whenever. Or, all right, I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It's good.